Welcome back to this week's episode. We're checking out Colonnade Pizza. Yeah. Uh, we were supposed to go to Heartbreakers, Heartbreakers. but they weren't open today. <laughs> we uh, found a good alternative. Uh, both Say and I have had Colonnade Pizza before and we love it, but Vanessa hasn't had it before. Never. never did. And we want to blow her mind with this new pizza that she's never tried before. We have here three different types. Uh, we have Canadian here, the pepperoni and Hot peppers? <laughs> and this one was the... Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Yeah. What are the criteria, guys, for a good pizza? A good <clears throat> crust. Yeah. If there's meat or like cheese to topping ratio. Okay. The sauce has to be good. Yes. The sauce has to be yes. good. And it should be a balance of like the right amount of sauce with the cheese too. Okay. Some pizzas, I like to order extra sauce on the pizza. Yeah. The, the, the sauce tomato. on the side? Yeah. No, no, not even on the side. Just, just put it on. Add more sauce on the pizza. Uh, do you guys like sweet? Sauces or like a little more savory. I think sauce. I like more savory. More savory. Yeah. yeah. More yeah. savory. Oh yeah. Garlic sauce here. Your staple garlic sauce. Now garlic sauce is a, hasn't always been a big thing until recently, eh? No, it's I, it's not like a normal thing to have pizza with garlic sauce, like traditionally, of course. Yeah. But you know. But even even in Canada, I don't. In the '90s, I don't remember ever ever having pizzas with dipping sauce. I was never big on dipping sauce. In my house, if we ordered pizza, we wouldn't get dipping sauce. And even when I would go out and get pizza, I would never get dipping sauce with my slices. Oh, okay. okay. And then now you like them? Um, I oh, okay. not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I like garlic sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. It's tangy. Yeah, I like, I like banana pepper, so this is nice. I'm gonna try with the garlic sauce now. It's got a bit of uh, sourness to it. And it is spicy. <laughs> mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. It tastes like shawarma garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's similar, be. but like slightly different. I feel with garlic sauces, it's so precise on the, the ratios of what you put in the garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's very simple, like you just use a food processor. Mm -hmm. I actually like this with the pizza. Really depends on the pizza for me. I generally like the sauce for like the crust. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for mm -hmm. sure. This is a good flavor combination though. So Vanessa, how does this compare to the other places that you've had pepperoni and hot, and hot peppers? peppers? No. It's good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to me, I feel like you really, you can't mess up pepperoni and hot peppers. So far I haven't had bad experiences with ordering um, pepperoni and hot peppers. The only places I've really ordered that, Pizza Hut, Domino's, and Roberto's. Roberto's is a pizza spot on Preston. I can see why people would come here and get pizza. I just think it's the right uh, amount of cheese to be put onto this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like thin, mm -hmm. but. I, okay, actually one thing that I can say, I appreciate that they put the pepperoni on top. Oh, rather within the pizza. Yeah, though. I actually don't like when they put the cheese on top of the pepperoni and then the pepperoni's like super soft. Oh yeah. Because mm. I like a little crunch to my pepperoni. Yeah. Mm. So now we have <laughs> the Canadian, which is pepperoni, mushrooms, and bacon. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> oh. I need hot sauce. It means a this one's messy. Yeah, this one's uh this one's a heavier one for us. Mm -hmm. So this has the pepperoni under the cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And personally, I prefer a uh, pepperoni over the cheese. What a crispiness. Yeah, give it a little crisp. I should have got the combo. I think it's the the green peppers that make it a little lighter. I think this one needs like a um a vegetable to to make it a little lighter. Yeah, you know, other, taste, other taste, than the mushrooms. Yeah, it tastes too much of like that meat flavor. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it's very bacon heavy. Yeah. It's very in heavy. Terms this of flavor. Yeah. Yeah. This is good on certain days, but just not today. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 banana pepper one kind of ruined this one for me <laughs> because it like more of an explosion of flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a little more boring than that one. That's why it is pretty crunchy. This one has a lot of sauce. I think it feels like there's more sauce just because of the soft pepperoni. Yeah. Mm. So it's like pushing. Yeah. And the mushrooms. Yeah. Gotta keep having to wipe my mouth. Yeah, from the looks of it, it doesn't look like there's a lot of sauce on it. I feel like this one doesn't pair as nicely with the garlic sauce though. So for our last pizza, it is the Santa Fe, which has banana peppers, mm -hmm. olives, and chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> this has a lot of olives. Yeah, there is a lot of olives in like, this one. A lot. Like every bite, there's like two or three. Yeah. I don't mind it. I like olives. I don't mind them. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't mind them on pizza usually. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think so far the pepperoni has been my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it's nice to have olives on pizza with mm -hmm. everything. It's like I think there's a lot of flavor in this one. Mm -hmm. But I feel that one is just very simple and there's a right balance of everything. Yeah. Just the cheese, the sauce, the pepperoni, and, just, <laughs> and then the tanginess from the banana peppers. Yeah. I was so surprised. I was like, I didn't think that was going to work out so well. What? Yeah, the the banana peppers. You never okay, so you never had banana peppers and pepperoni before. Mm -mm, never, but I might have it more That's often. That's wild. Mhm. Mm Canadian one's a little boring compared to the other two. Yeah. I would say, for me, it would be like one, two, three. Yeah, same. Same. The Santa Fe isn't too bad. Mhm. Mm but as someone who's not the biggest fan of olives, I felt like my first few bites were overload of olives, but then it actually like kind of lightens up as I keep going. Mm -hmm. Well, even look at my pizza right now in this one center bite. Yeah, like six. that's what my bite was looking like. That's like full, like all black right now. Yeah. But now it's like a little more spread out. <laughs> if you love olives, definitely get Santa Fe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I like the chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chicken is good on pizza. But... Mm -hmm. I don't usually have chicken on pizza. No? But it's pretty good change pace. I don't know how they prepare their pizza, but it almost tastes like in the middle of a stone oven pizza mm. and regular <clears throat> pizza. Oh, because it's a little flatter than me. Yeah, because it's like you you get a little bit of crunch, like especially around the crust yeah. area. Like a yeah. nice baked crunch. Yeah, but then it's still like kind of soft once you're biting through everything else. That's true. Mm -hmm. So I, I like that happy medium <clears throat> in terms of their crust. Flavors were good. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the pepperoni and hot peppers. Mm -hmm. I wasn't disappointed. It was good. <clears throat> yeah. I think if I were to order it again, I would, I would get this. <laughs> yeah. 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 I feel like the simpler toppings make the pizza better mm -hmm. because I think the sauce and just the cheese just alone is very good yeah. on these pizzas. And I would say Colonnade is like my favorite Western style pizza place. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Either this or Willie's. So. Oh, okay. I haven't yeah. been to Willie's. I just do find that they have a nice, nice combination of everything, a nice mm -hmm. balance. Uh, everything's like still crunchy while, every, you know, like sometimes the, the toppings are just falling off and all that yeah. sort of stuff. You don't really have that with colonnade pizza, where it's like, it all sticks together um, and it's still crunchy while, while you're eating it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they're not going over overzealous with the, the sauces or the yes. cheese as well. And it's just like cooked just right, so that's why I thought that this is probably one of the better places in Ottawa for pizzas. Yeah, for pie. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.